Hi, and welcome back to Football Manager 2024. What I'm going to show you today is how to win at Football Manager with the use of spreadsheets of Excel in Microsoft. Now, this is my sheet, and this is the example page I just want to quickly run through to show you. This is of Manchester United's defenders only. So the way I'm going to show you how this works is starting with the first column, which is column B. Down here is all the positions that the player plays in. So the green colour in the background denotes that this is the natural position for the player. The orange position in column D and the use of column F as well. I use three columns there. The, the orange in the centre means that the player plays in an accomplished position if he was to play DL. Then again, if you said no, I need to use him as a midfield central, then I've got him in a very light red or pink, which tells me this is a competent position. All right, we'll work across each column and I'll show you what's what and then I'll go back and try and explain it a bit better. Right, in column H, any player that is 21 or over is in the team as a senior player. As we go down, we'll see in the next section that any player that gets into this will have to be 20 or younger. Right, he can be 15 to play in the under 21s, but he's got to be quite good. But he will still come under the under 21s. And again, if you've got a player from this section that's good enough to play in the seniors, he can. But if a senior is not good enough to be in the top four, then that player will need to be sold or loaned. A senior player can't play in the under-21s for obvious reasons. So as we go down to the next section, this is the under 18. And again, only players of 15, 16 and 17 can play in the under 18s. Nobody from the under 21s or the senior players can drop down to the under 18s. But if you've got players that are good enough from the under 18s, they can play in the under 21s and the senior team. Then into the last section at the bottom, we see we have two players that are not good enough to fill those sections. So the first one being Johnny Evans. His points naturally are 403. And you can see from the top section that the worst player we have there is 414, then 422. 440 and the top player being 471. Now those figures won't mean anything to you at the moment until I start showing you the sheet. So let's go down to the other player here that's been thrown away, which being an 18 year old in the under 21s, you will either loan him out or you will sell him because the under 21s is full with the four that you need and they're going across again to the natural position, you'll see that 321 is the lowest there, and he's 316, which isn't good enough. Now, working our way across, you can see that the next one we'll look at is contracts. Now, Lissandro Martinez at the moment is on a contract that ends season 2027 and his wages are 120,000. Where I've highlighted in purple as you can go down with the wages here, now Harry Maguire is on 200,000 pounds per week contract ending 2025. But across the other side here, 
my estimated wages for this player should be nearly 19,000. And that includes his age of 30, which is included to work this out. So for £200,000 a week, he isn't worth keeping. And I know in real life, a lot of people think that way as well. Right, let's go back over to this side where I've got the nationalities. You can also see underneath the first one Argentina, then England, Sweden and France. But the ones that are highlighted in blue are the homegrown players. Now to be in the top four here, you should have two homegrown players. So if you wanted to, if you can't find anybody, you would bring Johnny Evans back to there and you would take out Raphael Varane. Both I'd like to get rid of, but that's what you really need to do. As they are in Europe, you will need two homegrown players for that position. So yeah, working back down here to the wages, if it's in a mauve light purple colour, all these players here need to be either released from the club, sold, loaned, whatever they are, because they're never ever going to warrant better wages than they're on at the moment. They're never going to reach this peak. So these players need to leave your team anytime soon, but you can only release players sell players where you have backup. So at the moment, you can't get rid of Johnny Evans and Sonny Aljo Free. But if you wanted to get rid of them, it wouldn't be necessarily a massive problem. But remember, you need a homegrown player to fill one of those spaces in the top four. So buying someone new is what you're going to be looking at. Now, going back to the numbers here, this is actually the player rating. So if we look at Lissandro Martinez, he's on 471. He's age 25, and he doesn't have any potential left at 25. The points you've got there are basically going to stay through that now in your career until you get maybe 30 to 35, where you will see a decrease. Looking at the next section down, I'll just for, have a look at this one where we've got Will Fish. All right, again, LOA on top means and the colour that he's been loaned out to another club. His current ability on natural ratings is 365. But going to his age at 20, he could possibly pick up another 45 potential points by the time of 25. I'm not saying he will do it, but he has potential to do it. Potential doesn't mean they're going to make it. It just means they possibly can. So that total would be 410 maximum in my eyes. So as we go down to the bottom here, you will see a little box with all numbers in it from Premier League down to the Championship. That middle league of three and a half stars would be something like the Portuguese league or the Dutch league, something around that, or the Brazilian league, which obviously we go straight from the Championship to the Premiership, and that's why our players are not good enough for these lower clubs that come up. We've seen it so far this year. The bottom three at the moment, the three that came up from the Championship, and those three are at the bottom of the Premier League. And the three that went down, Leicester, Leeds and Southampton, are all, all doing pretty good in the Championship because they're too good for that league. They should be in another league in between the championship, but we don't have that here. Now also over the far side, we can see in this orange box, 
that we have a figure there of 756,465, which is part of the wage budget that you can use for central defenders. In the column under, in the box underneath there of 2,500 is the player loans. And we've got one out on loan here, Will Fish. And he's generating £2,500 of his wages back in to our wage budget. But when you look in to the wages added up here, it comes to nearly 900000 So the figure in red at the bottom tells much how much we are overspending in this position. And you can see why we're over, because we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight players that are on too much money for this club, for the ability that they show. So we need to get rid of one of those urgently, and if you look at the most money there, you would be looking at Raphael Rang. Now, with that kind of money, you're going to struggle to get rid of him unless a Saudi club comes in and takes him straight away. So that there is how I define a central defender page. It tells me everything I want to know there, including how much we're spending on every player. So what we'll do now is move across to the other player positions. You can just see these are ready to be filled in. There's every position here available that's on the game. And that's from your AML, AMC, AMR, the WDL, DM, WDR, and all the other natural positions that are there. Now this page looks complicated again. This is the player stats page. So on the left hand side, we have the goalkeeper points. And on the right hand side, we have the player points. Now going back towards the left hand side, let's say we're a team that's going to be in League Two. First of all, when you do a club vision, on that vision, they will tell you where they expect you to finish as a club by the end of the season. So let's say they go, we want a top half finish. Your goalkeeper will need to be around 358 points, which is his ranking, basically. That's his ranking points. So that's what you would need to do. If you don't have a goalkeeper for that amount, then it's time to sell and time to look for somebody else that will be able to fit the club where we need them. Now, if we go over to lead two on the right hand side, this is the players. If a player is going to do well in this league, he's going to need to be on 369 or more. Now, the reason for the difference of 11 points to what you need from the goalkeeper is that when you add all the attributes together, the attributes for a goalkeeper are 35, and the attributes for a player are 36. I will show you more of this in the next video. I just want to show you the page for now, so you can see what you need to be doing. So yeah, top half finishing the two, 369 points required. You can see all the way up to the very top here, the 540, if you're going to be a top, top, world-class player, the best one on the game. One of my best ones that I've seen here with my points is Gabby from Barcelona. I'm not sure he's going to get the Jude Bellingham is pretty much the same. But I don't want to go down that road at the moment. Let's just look at this again, just to make sure we've got everything correct. Now, going back to the original page here and the example, at the end, 
I've got an estimated value and an estimated wage for that player if you was going to sign him. So how do we get this worth of 38.4 million for Martinez? First of all, we go to the natural figure. Then we go to the age. So 471 and the age of 25. We'll click down on this tab here, which is player value. Now, first of all, you will need to go to the player column and drag this down until you hit 471. Which will be between 470 and 474. Then, starting at 15 years old, we need to go across until we get to 25. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then you will see that the player will be worth 38.4 million. Now, maybe Manchester United will want more than that. But that's, if I was looking to buy this player from a different club, that would be my maximum that I would go to. And the estimated wages, if I was trying to sort a contract out, he would not receive more than 128000 And you can see at Manchester United is on 120. So the chances of him receiving a new contract that's going to take him beyond that, I wouldn't be interested. But he does have a contract here until 2027. So that's how the player values work out. So we'll just move this back to the value back to that. Then we've got staff stats. Now staff stats pretty much similar to the football player stat. So if we went into League Two and we went top half, which we're aiming for, you can see that the coaching stroke managerial staff, when you look these up in the search to try and have somebody at the club, you're going to need them to be on 174 points or more. And that would be the same for the scouting down here, which at lead to top half, you would need to be on 102 and above. And over this side, the medical staff would need to be 123 and above. And again, there it all is. You can fill in your players there. These are the positions you require. Obviously, if you're higher in the league, up in the Premier League, you're going to need more than one of a lot of these. And that goes for the scouts as well. You would need a lot more scouts if you're at the top. Even though I do my own scout work, it's a lazy way of doing it, but in the club do it. And there's the medical. So the medical scout coaching is all there, and your points for the staff, the players value, the player stats of course which are most important and all the positions that you would need to fill. Even on a small club I would advise you to try and still fill up with four senior strikers, four under 21s and four under 18s. I know it costs money but you just have to try and get these in at lower values, lower wages when you're looking to sign people. This is just the colours that I use. Um, you can use your own, of course, so you can mentally know what you're doing. Now, this is the wage budget page. So let's say, for instance, you go to a club like Manchester United and they would say, well, we've got a five million wage budget. We tap five million in the top and then enter 
and all those figures that come up tell you how much you're going to be able to spend in each position. Now, you only need one top goalkeeper. We know you need more than that, but it means one position. So, 386,364 on a five million pound wage budget would be you can spend on all the goalkeepers that you need at the club. Now, because I've worked this out to a 442, the quantity would tell me I need one goalkeeper, one left defender, two central defenders, one right defender, one left midfielder, two central midfielders, one right midfielder, and two strikers. So where you need two players in one position, it will let you spend double the amount. All right, so that's that's what we work it out as if you are on a five million pound wage budget, but you could also be at a club that's five thousand right down the pyramid, and then it will work out pretty much similar, but you know, three loops off the end. So that will help you there. The squad page, I don't need to show you that yet. I'll do that another time. And back to the example. Remember, the green here is the natural. The orange will be the accomplished. And the competent will be in pink. And the way you pick the player points out for this, if you didn't want to play Martinez in his natural position with 471 points, and you say, no, I'm going to play in DL, then his points would only be worth 447. And the reason for that is that he doesn't play naturally there and will make slight mistakes. And that's the same if you moved him into central midfield, where he is competent, his points would go down yet again because he would make even more mistakes. The potential, you can see if you're 20, they go up 45. If you're 18, they go up 63. This will be on the same page as the colour chart. Over in the left-hand corner here, you'll see what you get for the ages. They go up 9 every year until you get to 24, where you'll get your final 9, and 25 plus, you won't get anything for potential at all. And again, when I say to you that figure is not gospel, these players may not go up at all. But if we look at the whole of the central defence at Manchester United, you can see in real life they're struggling. Martinez is injured and basically everyone else at the club is not good enough. Manchester United at the start here. Premier League have been asked to finish in the Europa League spot and above, of course. So each player would need to be 474 points or more. Now we know we have Martinez at 471, not bad, not far off that, so he would definitely stay. And over this side, you would need players to reach that 474 with potential, but there isn't anybody with potential that are going to get up to that. So eventually over time, you need to get rid of all these players. Starting with, as I said, you're 139, nearly 140,000 short, where you're paying too much out. Somebody needs to go still need to try and keep the homegrown players if you possibly can. So as I said, try and put Johnny Evans back in the team and try and move on Raphael Varane. No one's going to take him with their wages. The only clubs that will is Saudi. Perhaps one of those are coming for you. I've only got Varane estimated value at 2.2 million. You would most probably have to get rid of him on a free to make it worth it. I've got estimated wages 
7,300 is on 350,000, which becomes a major joke, to be honest. But that's about it, what I've showed you so far today on this page. If you want a free sample, just let me know. Send a message, and I will forward one to your email address. And other than that, if you want to sign up, do that for me as well. And um, we'll continue with this on the next episode. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch up then. Thank you.